if that day you hate yeah. The little black boy with no swag You wore his shoes without no lease uh-huh. But now I'm getting P and getting fiends uh-huh. So you can keep your feet Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson, to settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks. Trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her... Well, I don't don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, The leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. (laughs) 
Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Hey there. Hello, mister. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch.
Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshall! Marshall! <coughs> Marshall! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now? That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. Some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight lipped some bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you ain't like more than you. Bill, we folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Never down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Stay with us, Marston. You never know. The Baller Twins might have set up an ambush. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. We need to stick together, boy. Them rustlers might be waiting for us. Are you sure we're the Baller Twins, Eli? Sure as shooting. I'd know those boys any place. 
Are these the same rustlers who've been causing the McFarlane so much trouble? If you want to afford a rope around your neck, I'd advise you to stay on two feet around that ranch, Marston. They rustle them one day and sell them in Thieves Landing the next. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the ballers. boys, let's proceed on foot from here. Let's move up the canyon towards the fork. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Bitches! Eyes up! We ain't finished yet! Help me out here, will ya? Right, move down and take those bastards in the camp. Keep your eyes open. A 
saw a couple of snipers across the way. God damn it! Take out those snipers, boy! You better surrender! You hear? This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. Let's try to sneak up on them. The closer we are, the less chance they have of making a run for it. Healthy as you can, boys. Let's get as close to those bastards as we can.
friends! Even this up a bit! Looks like the bollards won't be rustling again anytime soon. Quick, let's get those hostages free. <sighs> Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You can say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. <laughs>